Jack.org is the only Canadian charity that trains and empowers a network of young leaders who are revolutionizing mental health. Very cool. Let's find out more right now. Lucas Walters is joining us. He's a network representative for Jack, Jack.org. It's good to have you here. Hi, great to be here. <laughs> Tell us a bit about Jack.org. Um, so just like you said, we're a charity. We work with every province and territory across Canada to yeah. really revolutionize the way we talk about mental health and help people access services when they may be not doing so great with their mental health. And, uh, and, uh, it hasn't been around for very long either. No, 2010 is when we started. Um, so uh, in 2010, we lost Jack Windler to suicide, and his parents, uh, Eric and Sandra, decided to start Jack.org as a way to kind of move forward and prevent these kinds of things from happening in the future and make sure that we're talking about mental health in a positive way. I understand there's 219 chapters across Canada. That's a lot. And growing. Um, yeah. yeah, we're growing all the time and rapidly with every year, and uh, it just speaks to how much reach we have and how much Canadians really want to talk about mental health. Mm -hmm. And at this point supporting over 2,800 young leaders across Canada? Yeah, 2,800 is the number just like the chapters continually growing and that makes us ex so excited for the future. Okay. Now you're new to the city here. I am. A week ago. Yeah. Very new. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you're coming in from Newfoundland? I am. Born and raised. Yeah. So you are going to be going to University of Ottawa and uh, so what is your role as a mental health advocate? Mm -hmm. and especially, I mean, you've got to be going through some stuff yourself right yeah. now. Yeah. So after struggling with my own mental health to a point where I didn't know if I was going to see another day. Mm. I decided that I wanted to make a difference in my community, and so I started small. So I started talking to people in my school, in my neighborhood, and just talking about mental health and positive conversations. And then I connected with Jack.org and found out that I could reach beyond my community and actually go into other communities and have real conversations about what positive mental health looks like or what taking care of yourself looks like. So mm. um, it's been an incredible journey. So I've been with Jack.org for years now, but I'm excited to see where the future takes us. That's amazing. Well, how can students get their mental health uh, in, in check. You've got some tips for us? Yeah, so students especially, this is uh, a time of year that's kind of fresh on the brains for students. September is kind of the red flag month of going back to school. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really important to re recognize that all these new things in your life can present new challenges mm -hmm. as well. Um, so struggling with your mental health is, is uh, something that can happen to anyone and that can happen to all of us. So it's important to keep certain things in mind, like being your own advocate is my number one tip I'd give to people. So looking into your resources that are on campus and off campus and creating like this little toolkit for yourself. So later when you might be struggling, you can lean on that toolkit and be like, oh, these are all the things that I can go to or access for support when I'm not doing so great. Hmm. That's, that's a pretty good tip as well. Mm. Yeah. Uh, you offer something up. Uh, called Jack Talks. Mm -hmm. well, what are those all about? Yeah, so Jack Talks are kind of like one hour-ish men mental health education sessions and we do them with people just like me. So I'll come into schools all across the country or high schools, universities, community centers and we'll have conversations about mental health. So Mental Health 101, how to be there for yourself, how to be there for others. Um, they're incredible programs that help community members connect with other community members and um, open up conversations about mental health. Okay, so those can be booked through the, through the website? Super easy. It's jack.org slash talks and uh, you're good to go. Okay. Well, what would you say some of the most common struggles are right now for students? I mean, you're, you're an exceptional case because you're coming in from another city. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that's a lot on your plate. But what are some of the big struggles that people come up against? I mean, this time of year can present with any kind of struggle that you can find any other time of the year. It's just kind of exacerbated by this period of new people, mm -hmm. new schools, new places. Um, so regardless of the struggle of what other people can go through, I know personally for myself, it's been a very difficult adjustment to kind of create a new network for yourself. So whether that's a network of friends, a network of supports, a network of mental health resources. Mm -hmm. um, so taking those first steps to start that network is uh, an incredible step to take to okay. taking care of yourself. Well, what are some of the other programs that can be found at the website? Uh, so we have Jack Chapters, which you mentioned earlier, which are kind of like groups of people that come together to kind of address the barriers that their community is facing and f try and look for ways to prevent other people from struggling in their community or find the help that they need. And we have Jack Talks, and then Jack Summit, which is a, a national event in Toronto that brings cross leaders together all across the country to talk about mental health on a national level. And I know you have cool shirts. We do, yeah. We have the This Is What a Mental Health Advocate t-shirt looks like, yeah. uh, super available online. That's very cool. And I think people should purchase those, help out the organization, Thank and uh, let people know that you know they're normal. They've got, they've got struggles just like everybody else. Exactly. It's a way can... to show us that we all may go through some things sometime, but at the end of the day, we all have mental health, and we can all take care of it. That's something. All right, good luck with your studies. What are you taking, by the way? Psychology. Very fitting. Good. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Thank you very much, Lucas. We Thank wish you. you all the best. Thank you. And good stuff happening at jack.org. My name is Dylan Black. Thank you as always. This is Daytime Ottawa, and we'll see you next time.